So today I'm going to be styling Lisa Messenger's office. We're going to be doing an amazing makeover and transforming that space into one that allows her to be productive and really allows her creativity to flourish. So let's go. It almost feels like the desk should be there, like walking in and seeing the desk straight away. It just feels like I'm hitting, you know, the desk as you come in. So I feel like it should be there and the natural light is bouncing onto that wall. So that gives your eye a break. So when you're looking up from your laptop, like it gives your eye a break into this beautiful uh, visual. And the other thing is um, something that I want to do. And this should be paper, like a vision yes. board. The vision board! <laughs> So today we're gonna to be styling Lisa's office and I'm super excited because we've worked together on so many projects actually. We've worked on about six makeovers over the last probably two years, yeah. I think. So I would like to think I'm a very, very stylish, creative person. And I am, but somehow every time Crystal comes into any space I have, it's like she just has this vision that I can't even see and boom. Lisa leads such a beautiful holistic lifestyle of wellness and like mindset and such a um, incredible you know entrepreneur in terms of leading that well-rounded lifestyle so bringing the plants in the natural light it's like always we need to reflect, yeah, reflect that yeah yeah <laughs> books and so um, that's what we're going to be creating this space like the vision board because Lisa's such a visionary we really need the vision board inside this office another workspace so we're going to get um, possibly a console that can be used as a desk when Lisa has someone that comes over. So I'm a creative and I'm constantly like slicing and dicing content and leveraging and coming up with ideas. So a lot of the time I'm just like head down, bum up, but I freaking need to be surrounded by a beautiful space, but I don't always take the time. Once I've set it up initially, I'm just like, okay, yeah. come on, let's <laughs> go. <laughs> so that's where I need you to come in and be like, okay, this is yeah. what we need to do, lady. I just love creating and giving back and creating educational and inspirational tools for entrepreneurs. That's what I'm all about. So I love it. I love yeah. it. So let's so make let's... an amazing space to do that in. <laughs> let's make this happen. So we're going to go and we're going to shop for some pieces to bring this to life. And then we're going to show you how you can create that as well. Let's do it. <laughs> sorting out the vision boards. So right now, I wanted to keep it to a very consistent color palette because vision boards can easily get really chaotic if you don't keep a pretty similar color palette. So I've like taken some of the pages from Lisa's book and then I found some color swatches to coordinate with the pages in the book and we're going to put a mixture of that on the wall. So it's going to be this amazing vision board but it's not going to be overwhelming. basically like her brain on the wall but you can do this in your own home by getting magazines, uh, books, tearing them out and then actually grouping them into colours. So I've got like a lot of oranges around here, um, more burgundy tones there, oranges and blues around there. So I think just being um, consistent with the colour palette and grouping them into zones. This is black, white and beige and so that way I know that if they've got those colours, I can just group them and it's not just a big mess because often mood boards can be really messy if you don't put them into little zones. So I've just zoned them off and it's made it much easier when I actually find a page to know where to put it.
welcome to your new <laughs> office! <laughs> oh, it's so good! I mean, Do you love it? it? Yeah, I know! I love it! Yay! I'm oh, so good! Yay! Yay. Your brain on the wall. My brain on the wall. It is my brain on the wall. And I thought by having the desk in the middle, like you can get footage in front of it, and then it'll feel more spacious to be able to work from either side. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. It's still spacious. Yeah, it's still spacious, babe. But then have a look at this. So now when you shoot content, oh, oh, yeah. everyone will want to come around to my wall. Yeah. <laughs> and I like that the grey goes with yeah. the carpet. Because the white pops out too. If it was a white board, then the white wouldn't pop out, but the white actually yeah, yeah, pops yeah. out. Grey's a really neutral colour for other colours. I love it. Yay! <laughs>